De regreso aquí en Auto 060 para el último segmento del show de esta semana aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Y precisamente esta semana estuvimos de visita en Charlotte para unas reuniones de trabajo con NASCAR, con la división digital de NASCAR. Y en el viaje entre el aeropuerto y las oficinas el martes pasado eh, me llamó la atención mucho eh, el taxi en el que nos, eh, nos llevaron para allá. Eh, era un taxi, un Ford C-Max, que no mucha gente, no muchos taxistas lo utilizan para este tipo de servicio, pero no solamente el tipo de auto, sino también eh, que este auto venía equipado con un nuevo sistema de seguridad que no es, el, por ejemplo, la división de plástico que va entre, entre las dos filas de asientos, sino una serie de cámaras, una cámara digital muy interesante. Y bueno, para eso eh, vamos a hablar con Geoff Callison, el... Um, Conductor de este taxi, so we've got to switch back to English to talk to one of the best drivers in, uh, Char in Charlotte and uh, talking about his uh, Ford C-Max and uh, this uh, new safety device in his uh, car. So here with, uh, in Charlotte with uh, Jeff today, and I, I always say that cab drivers are the people who know the most about every city. <laughs> so here in Charlotte, Jeff, you know a lot about this city, right? Oh, uh, en enough to get me by, I guess. Okay, so yeah, you have a, a couple of interesting things about your, your taxi. First, you're driving a Ford C-Max, a hybrid car, and I believe you have it like for a year now? Uh, just under a year, yeah. I got uh, just turned 60,000 miles on it uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Okay, and uh, you love it, I, I heard, right? I haven't had a bit of problems with this car. Yeah, I love it to death. I uh, should have made the switch a long time ago. Okay, and uh, you, uh, you you mentioned that uh, you have seen the new Nissan NV taxi cab, and like you are not very convinced about that. Well, it's limited seating, so that uh, that it's really much is the same as this. Well, actually, less than this because uh, I can get four people in this. Mm -hmm. I actually just had four people in here, and and but that that uh, Nissan, it looks like it's strictly three people on a bench seat, so. Granted, you're going to have a lot more room, but... Yeah, and access to, like, uh, wheelchairs and all that from the back and all that. So that's an advantage in that case, I guess. Huh? Well, um, it'd probably be... If they set those up for wheelchair, they'd have to come in the side because there's not enough room in the back. Yeah. Well, I think they... Well, I don't know. I think they have, like, an application to... To, 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 to add put a something in the back, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if exactly if it's on the side or on the back, but anyway, so... You love your C-Max. I love the C-Max. <laughs> you got that right. Okay, and now we got into the car, and there's actually, let me think, one, two, three, four, including your phone, four, four screens, plus your meter, and what is this thing on the windshield now that that's, you have? Uh, that's a new safety device, it's a camera, it's rear-facing and frontward-facing, so that you can catch all of the action around you. And... Um, From what you were telling me before, you have caught some good action already, right? Oh, there's been some interesting action. I hit a deer and uh, it caught all that action. And it also tells you the speed at which you're traveling at the time of the incident. So everything is there for uh, for you to uh, debate who's at fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, there's no debate. I mean, because the evidence is pretty clear in, 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 in cut, almost every case, right? Cut, cut and dry for the most part. Yeah. And uh, so this is something that your company put into the, all the cars. It's not you personally, right? No, the company, I'm sure that was their way to cover their uh, liabilities. Yeah. And uh, so besides the one that you have got in your own cab, I mean, uh, you have shared some other stories from, from your colleagues. Right? Definitely. Uh, there was uh, another one where someone uh, tried to rob the cab driver and uh, definitely... You could tell the guy had no clue that there was a camera there, even though it's not not hidden in any way, but <laughs> he wasn't paying that close of attention to his surroundings, so I'm sure they caught him, and he's uh, doing a little time now. I guess. And uh, there's other, another story that you, you mentioned about that it was a small accident, and this lady claimed to be, like, completely injured, but, like, after the fact, like, way after the fact. Yeah, one of the drivers had someone in the back, and... Uh, he hit somebody rear-ended somebody or something i don't know the details but she was claiming that she had hit her head and uh, was claiming all kinds of problems and uh, when they reviewed the video it showed that she had barely even moved during the accident so she got to uh <laughs> back up her story yeah <laughs> she had to change that story real quick <laughs> so i i think we've seen these cameras i mean footage of these cameras from those uh, uh, compilations on the on youtube from russia mainly 
I think where I think it's mandated by law to have them, and, and, and it's a great safety device. Yeah, definitely. It's a deterrent now that you know everyone knows that they're being used, and you know you see people will immediately ask about the camera. Oh, is that a camera? Yep. Oh, oh is it on? Yes, it's on. So uh, immediately, if uh, they had any ill will, they probably will think twice about it if they notice that. Yeah. And I noticed uh, 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 that your cat does have a separator, a glass separator between the, 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 the front and the back. Uh, that's, I mean, this, this doesn't replace that. But in a way, as you were saying, it's like make people think twice about doing something stupid. Yeah, it's definitely the, the, the separator. It, it does take up a lot of room in a cab, so we try not to, to use those. Plus, the, we don't really have that, that bad of a crime rate here in Charlotte to, to warrant that to to put the expense in for those and uh you know all the especially the room you lose that's the main yeah. thing and uh so one one thing about charlotte tell us about it i mean obviously nascar a lot of banking industry here what else is here to to visit and do uh we have a, an amusement park over here in uh in in uh fort mill it's carowin so you have a lot of the really large roller coasters they're actually putting in another large roller coaster now Um, like you mentioned, NASCAR has the Hall of Fame here. Um, the uh, Super Speedway, Charlotte Motor Speedway, is only about 30 minutes from downtown Charlotte. And uh, we're only about uh, four hours from the uh, beaches. So it's kind of nice centrally located here in Charlotte. Yeah, pretty nice. And uh, now we're like uh, finally at the end of winter. <laughs> so you're enjoying some uh, beautiful weather today. I wouldn't count on the end of winter. In <laughs> end of winter yet. We've had some of our bad snowstorms in March. So... Okay. We, don't, we don't know yet. But it's getting better. It is getting a little better. So if people want to come and visit Charlotte, uh, can you, did they hire you? Oh, definitely. Just uh, come on into Charlotte. And how, how can they find you? They would find me uh, by calling 704-363-8411. Excellent. You have the best cab driver here in Charlotte uh, in the best car and with the best safety device in the car. So. Thank you very much for the ride. We're going back to the airport and going back to Miami. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back soon, I hope. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, Jeff. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. 